Hey everyone, Fish Shop Matt here. So uh, I'm in the shop early. So early I haven't even turned on the lights for the Stingray tank yet behind me. Just lost my sunglasses. Um, but I thought I'd, there it is, um, already five seconds in. Um, I thought I'd record the first fish file that I'm gonna do. Uh, fastest fish in the shop, the Neon Tetra. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, sorry, that was awful. Uh, the Neon Tetra. Um, so who, let's go find them. Let's go through them and let's uh, talk about them a little bit. So we normally have a few tanks of Neon Tetras in the shop at any one time. Um, they are probably the most popular aquarium fish that we sell. Obviously because of their colour, their size, their temperament. Um, they're just an all round great fish. So uh, if I flip around the camera. So Neon Tetras, they inhabit clear water and black water streams from the Amazon. Now, they're mostly found in Peru, Brazil and Colombia. They inhabit this little area where all three countries meet um, and they inhabit a little area around there. Now, the reason for their such bright, vivid colours is so that they can see each other. In that dark, tea-stained water, you know, the Amazon doesn't have 100 FX6s and a big block of carbon to keep their water clear. So the water is really murky and that blue sort of shine shows through and then they can find each other. It is also for predator evasion, you know, they are, they will use it to, um, yeah, sort of disguise, well not disguise, that's the wrong word, but to uh, um, confuse predators. You know, if you try and catch a group of these guys, it would be like trying to catch a load of disco lights, you know, hundreds and hundreds of moving disco lights. Do you imagine trying to catch that? Impossible. So in the wild, neon tetras can inhabit pHs as low as four and temperatures as low as 18. Um, now I really wouldn't recommend that. Obviously in an aquarium, trying to run those parameters and trying to run those, you're probably gonna end up with a problem unless you're really sort of keeping on top of everything. So generally in the aquarium, you wanna aim for a slightly acidic, you know, to neutral pH, anywhere from, you know, six to seven really, six is on a bit on the low side. And temperature ranges, you wanna be aiming anywhere sort of 23 to 26 degrees, keeping it in that nice broad range that you can keep other fish with them and keep everyone happy in the aquarium. Now, neons are only getting to four centimetres. They're not a massive fish, so really getting a good sized group of them is key. They're not going to be sort of the most confident fish if you only keep them in twos and threes. So really, I'd say minimum six, but maximum, well, whatever you can fit into your aquarium. The bigger the number, the better, because you'll find that they'll just be more confident um, and, yeah, more outgoing in themselves, you know. They're going to act like they do in the wild. Now, with their aquarium setup, if you can give them um, hiding spaces, hide, hiding spaces, places. Hiding spaces such as like aquatic plants, um, hardscape like wood and rocks um, and then yeah maybe some leaf litter if you're going for that black water aquarium a little bit of leaf litter on the bottom would be perfect for them to dart in and out of. Now with neons and feeding you're going to want to give them a varied diet. Flake, granular, frozen and just alternate it. Every day do something different. Switch the foods up. I keep a little line of pots in my cupboard not obviously with frozen food in it, but with all the dried foods that I use. And I just start at the start of the week and rotate the foods. That way you're giving them something different every night. And a happy and fat fish is going to be a healthy fish. They're going to fight off any problems better. If they've got a good sort of full belly of all those nutrient rich, high quality foods, they're going to be able to fight off diseases, parasites, bacteria, if they ever have to. Um, so yeah, make sure you keep them well fed. We'd all get bored of the same food every day, you know. I would get bored of salads and I'd get really fat if I ate McDonald's every day and it's the same for fish. Just give them a really good balanced varied diet. So I just thought I'd try a bit of the uh, Bug Bites colour enhancing flake just to see if these guys go mad for it, which a lot of the other fish do in here. And the good thing with this flake food is that's going to promote the coloration of that red and really make it pop. You can see how crazy they're going for it. That's really, really good to see that. Breeding. Now, neons are tricky. Like most charakins, if not all charakins, but like most charakins, they're egg scatterers. So what they're going to do is their male and female are going to get together in your aquarium they're gonna fly around at 100 miles an hour and they are gonna throw eggs to every corner and every plant and every rock in your aquarium um, to try and distribute them and give a few of them a chance in finding a hole that's gonna survive. Now, 
Neons are notoriously hard to breed, um, and they're notoriously hard to raise. The fry are obviously, you know, four centimetre fish maximum. The fry are going to be minuscule, they are going to be tiny. Um, and really, to be honest, it's probably not worth doing, unless you want to tick it off on that accomplishment. If, unless it's one of those bucket list things that you, uh, you want to tick off and you want to say, yeah, I bred Neon Tetris, you probably want to leave it alone. So there it is, fact file one down. Another thousand different species to go in the shop. I'm not sure I'll ever, ever get them all done, but we can but try. Now, if you want to see more of these or you want a certain species covering, chuck it in the comments. Uh, I will try and get round to it. Obviously, there's going to be thousands of species I'm going to try and cover. I wanted to try and cover some of the more common ones first because it just gets them out of the way. And I feel like in three weeks' time, if I'm still doing this, you'll probably be bored of the common species by then. So then we can move on to something a little bit more interesting every now and again. Um, but yeah, drop it in the comments, drop a like for me because this channel is growing really well and the love and the appreciation that I'm receiving from you guys and girls is phenomenal. Love it. Like, yeah, it's great. It's amazing. Um, you know, on that note, that's it. Signed off with um, so there you go. Let's try a different one today. Live long and prosper.